To all who come to this happy place, welcome. Welcome to our Disney Parks videos, where we aim to give you tips and how-to guides on what to do before, during, and after your trip to the Disney Parks. Guiding you from booking your holiday to prepping for it, and also giving you top tips on how to ride your favorite rides and snack on your favorite tasty treats. Follow along with our adventure every month by clicking that subscribe button and the notification bell. This month is all Disney Art of Animation Resort with a Little Mermaid room tour. So let's get to it. So this month we decided to go into more details about Disney's Art of Animation Resort to help you decide if this hotel is suitable for you, whether you're family, group of adults or on your own. In this video, we will go through an overview of the resort, the different rooms and suites, dining, pools, recreation and activities, the transport options, and finally, a room tour of the Little Mermaid King bedroom. I'll pop all the timestamps in the descriptions below so you can jump to the section that you want. Disney's Art of Animation Resort is classed as a value resort hotel, but prices can rival that of some of the moderate resort hotels too. You are surrounded in the artistry, enchantment, and magic of Disney and Pixar movies. Staying at this resort invites you to explore the storybook landscapes seen in such classics as Finding Nemo, Cars, The Lion King, and The Little Mermaid. From delightful themed family suites to wondrous detailed courtyards, Disney's art of animation draws you and your family in to become a part of your animated favorites. The lobby area has early designs of characters and storyboards. Just outside the resort's merchandise store is a very impressive chandelier with more illustrations from many Disney and Pixar classics. Disney's Art of Animation is also a dog-friendly accommodation, so you can bring the faithful furry family member with you. The resort is also a Skyliner resort, which is shared by Pop Century, but we'll talk about that in the transport options sections. Art of Animation prices for 2024 start from £185 a night per room up to £550 a night per room. We'll go through the individual room or suite price changes in the next section. This hotel is one of the first resorts you get to when you come under the Disney World arches and it takes around 20 to 30 minutes to get to from Orlando International Airport. You can get Mia's Connect. Sunshine flyers, Ubers, lifts, taxis, or drive yourself here too, so plenty of options for you to get from the airport to the hotel. Disney's Art of Animation has four different themed sections for you to stay at. Firstly, the cheapest rooms for one to four people staying would be the Little Mermaid standard rooms situated on the far left side of the resort from the lobby. These have recently been refurbished and put you under the sea with Ariel and friends. The rooms come with either two queen-size beds or one king bed, which you can request on the My Disney Experience app. The rooms are very well decorated and the bathroom is decorated like Ariel's hideaway and she's even on the shower curtain. The rooms surround a small pool too where Ariel, Sebastian, Ursula and Triton keep watch. The rooms are the furthest away from reception and many people have complained how far away they are but we timed it and it took us six minutes to casually walk from the lobby to our actual room in building nine with four suitcases. Also, you can get to the Skyliner within a five minute walk. These rooms range from 185 pound per night up to 263 pounds, and it is the same price regardless of what bed you request. We really enjoyed staying here and would recommend it for couples who want to be immersed into Disney theming. Stay tuned or check out the timestamp in the description for a full room tour of the Little Mermaid King room. Then for families or bigger groups, they have three different themed suites which sleep from one to six people. The cheaper suites are the Cars family suites that is situated to the right of the lobby. You'll feel right at home at Radiator Springs. This Cars inspired suite includes two bathrooms and a kitchenette, so there's plenty of room for all the family with views of the courtyard, pool, or parking area. These rooms have one queen bed, one double sofa bed, and one double table bed, which means the bed comes down over the table in the room. These rooms also have the Cozy Cone Hotel pool too. These rooms range from £412 to £545 per night. The next price range rooms are the Finding Nemo rooms, 
which are located directly opposite the lobby and is in between the lobby and the Skyliner. It is also next to the largest pool in a Disney World resort. Just keep swimming and enjoying the ocean theme with Nemo in this spacious family suite, including two bathrooms and a kitchenette, with views of the courtyard, pool or parking area. These rooms also have one queen bed, one double sofa bed and one table bed. It is the closest to the main pool, pool bar, main laundrette, merchandise store, dining area, lobby and the Skyliner. These rooms go from £421 per night to £610 per night. Then finally we have the Lion King Family Suites, which is the only section that doesn't have its own pool, but does have a fire pit where they make s'mores every evening. It is situated to the left of the lobby before the Little Mermaid rooms. You just can't wait to be king in this African themed suite with beautiful imagery from the Lion King. The suite includes a separate bedroom, two bathrooms and a kitchenette with views of the courtyard or parking area. These suites also have one queen bed, one double sofa bed and one table bed. These rooms range from £438 to £668 per night, being the most expensive on the resort. The main dining area for Disney's Art of Animation is the Landscape of Flavors restaurant. Here you can get your breakfast, lunch and dinner options from your usual American style dining options. Landscape of Flavors does also offer mobile ordering too and we placed an order on our way from our Little Mermaid room. When we get to Simba, we clicked that we were there and for them to prepare our order. And by the time we walked up to the collection window, they called for us. There are four themed seating areas to complement the rooms of the Little Mermaid, Cars, Finding Nemo, and the Lion King. Several drink stations are around the restaurant for you to get your prepaid for drinks or fill up your resort mugs, which we really recommend getting if staying for a week or more at a Disney hotel, as you can fill them up at any Disney hotel on your travels. Meals are standard Disney quick service meals, but we highly recommend picking up one of the pizzas at the end of a long day, as it was massive and delicious. The restaurant is open from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m., but you can make your mobile orders before 7 a.m. if you want to grab and go breakfast. But what if you're heading out before 7 a.m. or back later than 11 p.m. and you really want to fill up your resort mug? Well, you can go to the drop-off pool bar where there is a fountain station around the right-hand side of the bar. The drop-off pool bar is open from 11 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. situated right next to the big blue pool. Here you can get a variety of drinks including alcohol, from bottle beers, draft beer, and frozen cocktails. You can also purchase snacks from assorted chips to sandwiches. Oh, and of course, you can pick up a Mickey Premium Bar. You can also pick up some snacks at the ink and paint shop, or there are vending machines on each floor of every block too. Now let's take a look at recreation at Disney's Art of Animation, from pools to daily activities. Firstly, let's talk about the ink and paint shop, which is Art of Animation's merchandise store. Here you can pick up some Disney merch, resort merch, snacks, holiday essentials, medical supplies, and even get your free celebration badges. Little tip, if you want a celebration badge and the cast member writes on it, ask them for a little bit of tape to go over it as it will protect the ink from coming off the badge. Then the pools. There are three pools at Disney's Art of Animation. Flippin' Fins, which is situated in the Little Mermaid area, Cozy Cone, which is in the Cars area, and then the Big Blue Pool in the Finding Nemo area, which is the largest resort pool in all of Walt Disney World. The Big Blue Pool is inspired by the Disney and Pixar's Finding Nemo. Guests can relive the story of their favorite clownfish alongside giant set pieces of Nemo, Crush, and other beloved characters from the film. For the little ones, Schoolyard Sprayground is home to pop-up jets, gushing water, and more familiar faces from Finding Nemo, while Squirt's Righteous Reef is a Nemo-themed playground perfect for kids who prefer to stay dry during playtime. For refreshing snacks and beverages, drop by the drop-off pool bar conveniently located nearby. Also, the Big Blue Pool has family-friendly activities each day, such as pool games, relays, trivia, and more. 
The cozy cone pool allows you to check in and chill in a cone-shaped cabana around the cozy cone motel swimming pool. Inspired by the mega hit Cars, this is the perfect place for families looking to cool their jets. Surrounded by life-size models of beloved Cars characters, Doc, Sally, Meta, McQueen and more. Then finally, flip in Finn's pool where you can make a splash in the pool or let your kids drift away as you lounge poolside. Based on the Disney's animated classic The Little Mermaid, this pool features the Under the Sea Orchestra conducted by Sebastian and whimsical set pieces based on popular characters from the film. Pool lifts and other access options are available for guests with disabilities or limited mobility. Pool hours and lifeguard availability vary by pool and are subject to change. Situated next to the Big Blue Pool 2 is Movies Under the Stars, where you can watch some of your favourite Disney films outside from 8.30pm every night. Over at Pride Rock in the Lion King area, you can gather around the campfire to roast marshmallows, make s'mores or tell tales every night from 6.30pm to 7.30pm. If you want to get a morning jog in before the busy park day, there is the Jogging Trail which is a 1.38 mile trail around the resort going through all the areas. There are also ping pong tables next to the drop off pool bar. Finally, for the gamers out there, Art of Animation has the Pixel Play Arcade which is a mixture of classic and new arcade games located in the main animation building aka the lobby. Transport options for Art of Animation are amazing and we enjoyed getting around using Disney Transport at the resort. Let's start off with the Skyliner. It shares a station with Pop Century situated in the middle of Hourglass Lake. There you can take the Skyliner to Caribbean Beach to switch to go to Epcot or Hollywood Studios. These journeys take between 15 to 30 minutes depending on how busy it is. But don't be fooled by a long line. Because the Skyliner is a continually moving transport system, the lines move quick. During busy periods, you may be seated with other people too, so just be aware of that when boarding. Also, if there is lightning or heavy winds, the Skyliner may be down and a bus will be put on in its place. We will do a full video on the Skyliner in future, so make sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell. For all other parks or Disney Springs, you'll need to take one of the buses that is situated just outside the lobby. These are very frequent and the most we waited was 15 minutes for a bus which means we probably just missed the first one. Each bus is dedicated for one location so Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom and Disney Springs. If you want to take the bus to Blizzard Beach then you will have to take the bus to Animal Kingdom and then transfer. And for Typhoon Lagoon you need to go to Disney Springs and then transfer. If you ask your driver when you get on, they will make sure you are pointed in the right direction too, like our driver did for us, bless him. Or you can get lifts or Ubers from the hotel. There are three areas you can get picked up from and we had one right by our room in building 9 of Art of Animation, which was great. However, Wi-Fi does drop out at these stops, but you can easily see the stop a 10 second walk away from the side of the building where you can get signal. Um, so we're just going to have a quick little uh, run around. We've already been putting things here and there, so we're gonna, what we're going to try and do is remove some stuff um, to show you what it's like, but other things we're going to leave in place. Um, I'm going to try and show you all the sockets and things like that as well. But uh, first of all, we are in a king size room um, and we're in building nine. Um, and we're facing opposite um, the car park um, and things like that. So it's just down the road is where you get picked up um, from the Ubers or Lyft in the Little Mermaid room. So that's quite handy. So let's have a little, quick little look around the room. So as soon as you come in through the door, you have old um, Sebastian and um, Flounder, I almost forgot his name then, on the wall and you have this king size bed so it'll come with either king size bed or two smaller uh, double beds then um, so it depends on what you want you can request this with the uh, king size there is space underneath the beds to put your cases which is nice. Comes the bedside cabinet and 
apologies about the mess. Um, I'll just move this a second. So there's two sockets here. So I've got a travel adapter there. So two sockets there and two sockets in the wall there. But then you've got another two sockets there. And then this side, you have two USBs um, on that side. And I do believe it's the same over there. You've got two sockets over there and two USBs as well. And then you've got this big picture up on here with Eric and Max and I've seen room reviews where this picture is actually on the wonk because um, it's like kind of like is in under the sea and things but I would have hated that so luckily this picture is now straight um, on there so that's the bed it is very comfy it's very high off the floor um, but for some reason we have five pillows no idea why, but they've given us five pillows. Then over this area you have the trash can there, so you've got rubbish and recycling um, and the temperature gauge there. You also have this wonderful mirror as you can see Gemma in oh, just collapsed on the bed already. Hi Gemma. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you've got this beautiful fish mirror, there's me, hello. Um, and then this table here with some music notes for under the sea so that's the uh, that's just saying that um, uh, mousekeeping is every other day at the moment it still hasn't returned to every day and you've got these chairs shaped like seashells got these big curtains here kind of like you are under the sea too Okay, so then the TV area over here, you have a coffee machine. You literally pour water in here and it's got how many cups you want. You could go to one cup or two cup and you just press the red button there and it just pours it out, but it tends to fill up the left side more than the right side. So just be warned with that. And you've got these coffees here. Um, sometimes they give us um, odd decafs and next door trying to get into our room <laughs> so just watch that one um it's got this really handy guide thing here as well and um, it's got the festivals as well for epcot got ice bucket there with some uh, plastic glasses this one is actually where the fridge is and it's quite a big fridge in there and also then you've got three drawers um there so that door where they're trying to get in next door um, there's a really loud family and they've been here for a few days now but they're really loud um, and you've got uh, four little court racks there and it's a nice little um, octopus well, let's have a quick little look at close look at the Eric picture there there we go and it's a good thing that he's looking the opposite way he's not actually looking at the bed because that would just be creepy Something I forgot to say about here, you've got another two sockets there with two USBs, another two sockets there with more two USBs, and on, on here, there's another two sockets here. So there's plenty of sockets and plenty of USBs, so you don't have to bring travel adapters, you can just use these USBs, I've been using them mainly, um, so they're really handy. Right, so this area, uh, forgive the little mess, you've got um, the rest of the room there a little bit of a mess around here because this is about where our clothes are so you've got a safe down there with an iron in board and iron extra pillow and blanket extra towels as well um, and some storage up on top of there there's a hairdryer a couple of uh, hangers um, and you've got the waiting table thing which i'm using for my t-shirts and shorts there and then you've got the sink unit which not a big massive sink unit to be honest there's uh, not much room you can put on things on there then you got a shaving mirror and then this nice big mirror here now there's another two sockets here so you can put your shaver and toothbrush charger and something like that when the lights when this light is off there's a little night light here that switches on which is quite annoying because some rooms have a rail across here you can pull across but this one doesn't 
and finally the bathroom so you got this really long rail here and toilet paper and abundance of towels you got the towel hooks there and then you got this beautiful bathtub um, and shower and just look at that it's like it's it's Ariel's little lair if you will um, it's got it's got a bit of a weird handle it's a bit of a hook handle there and then the shower curtain if I just bring this across yeah like that is Ariel with an hourglass so there she is in all her glory and then one final thing here is you do have I'm not gonna pull it all the way across but you have a clothes rip which comes from there and then goes up on a little hook up there now with soaps you do have the H2O plus but these might change pretty soon because um, they've stopped supplying Disney with these um, so you've got shampoo conditioner and body wash they are really nice smelling and in the sink in the next room uh, there was a Disney bar of soap as well so overall, we highly rate Disney's Art of Animation to stay at, mainly for the theming, the Skyliner, and recreational facilities. Thanks very much for watching, and don't forget to check out these videos and click the subscribe button for much more Disney content. But until next time.